So I took the red eye last night from Phoenix left to develop. 10 till midnight. Got in Chicago here at 422, walking over to the Seacon course. And then I will head into Atlanta, where we'll meet Lewis and go from there. All right, Miss Mitchell, we're stopping in the Blue Ridge Mountains on the way at Apple Orchard. Orchard's that direction. And headed up to the bunkhouse for the night. So, oh man, would you love this place? Apple, apple, apple everywhere. All kinds of ciders. So we get snacks for the hike tomorrow. Crazy good stuff. All right, we just got here. It's about 10 till 3. River's over there. We'll cross that bridge right there to head to the North Trail. Dig our way out right out of the get-go, I'm sure. So the idea is like 15 miles south. Or actually, seven and a half miles south. Turn around, come back for 15. A big time rafting area, light water. All right, Larie with Lewis. We're here at the. Uh, what do you call it? Non Nantahala Outdoor Center. Nantahala. Tyson City, North Carolina. You guys are fine. This is known for its rafting. So you see the rafters coming down behind me. They shoot the gates right there all the way down. All right, Lori, this is what you're missing. We're at the trailhead, foot trail, south, heading up seven and a half miles. We'll turn around. Come back 15, and then we'll go over the cross the river over there and do it again. Seven and a half miles north. Any words for Mr. Lurie, Mr. Lewis? You tell us when you've got time to come out here, we'll make it happen. All right. All right, it's five minutes after three. We've got five of us total rolling out. Our goal today is 30 miles, divided into two segments, 16 and 14, basically. And we got Bob and Spencer and John, John and Lewis and Good me. Good morning. Oh, and we're getting ready to roll. Look at this outfit here. He's got the stove. Get in here. Oh, yeah. It's the camp Look at this. Coffee and everything, guys. Oh, yeah. Larry, Did you get some coffee? Get this set up. Yeah. Learn the setup. We'll take Larry along. We'll get your bearings. Um, there the white be, blazes all the way. White blazes all the way. There shouldn't be many, if any, side trails that, that cross here, but the AT is always going to be the one that's more worn. All right, 320, we're to the trailhead. The guys are hitting up. The hike is officially beginning. Appalachian Trails, gnarly and rooty. Rocks and roots. There's five of us. I they like the canyon. Tree canopy the whole way, probably. All right, we've been at it a little over two miles. We came across a pretty bad tree fall. So we're waiting for one of the guys. We didn't want him to try to bush hop this. Our pace has been 25 minute miles till we took this five, 10 minute break. Uh, waiting for Bob and we'll make sure he navigates this. And then we'll carry on. All right, I'm here with the guys. Lewis, shut your light off, buddy. <laughs> so I'm here with the guys. It's uh, two and a half, two and a quarter miles into it. Good pace. We're waiting on one guy to come up through, and uh, it's pitch black. Pitch black, but a good hike. 
Well, Reed, this air is heavy. I can't breathe. These guys are smoking me as usual. I'm getting used to being the tail, though. It's not so yeah, bad. My... All right, we missed it, had to hike back. We were hiking back down, probably went a quarter mile down the trail to the next. But now we are here, 637. Took us right three hours. Here's John. Howdy. Ready for breakfast. All right, that was a three-hour hike. Pretty much no break. A little one to wait on the guys a little bit, but we think it was right at eight miles. So we got our first aid in. You can see how beautiful it is up here. Gorgeous. We just finished our break. You can take a leak off the top. Sun's coming up. About it. It's too cold. <laughs> Smoky Mountains. John, you're not taking a leak, are you? Getting ready to start back 715 ish. So we'll see how long it takes us to get back. I'm hoping two and a half hours or so. I'd like to be back. By 10, I hope. We'll see how it goes. All right, sun's up, full bore. We ran back into Bob so we know he's okay. Now we got seven and a half miles back. Seven and a half miles. Hiking along the ridge. <clears throat> We're still digging our way out on the way back. I think we just did the last climb. Beautiful. Watch, y'all, watch your headlamps coming up this ridge. I remember climbing up this little face right here. You just didn't realize what the other side of it was. That's why we have headlamps so we stay on the trail. <laughs> Don't bushwhack. All right, I'm rolling back into camp. It's one minute after 10, so I'm probably 300 yards from it. So I'll, let's call it 10.05. So a little bit after 10, two hours and 55, or actually two hours and 50 minutes. So that's a steep, uh, Lewis was right. You climb constantly and that's a good 16 miles. Take a little break, a nap, do it again on the other side. It's about 11.30, I was off the trail for hour and almost a half, more like an hour and 15, maybe an hour and 20. Took a 20 minute nap. Got rejuvenated, and now I'm headed north from Nantahala, and hopefully gonna do another 14 miles today. I'm gonna try to hike, take my time, no rushing. By myself, the other guys are ahead. I'm not sure about the last guy, but I think I'm the only one staying here tonight, so that's gonna be nice. I can hike all afternoon, take my time. All right, it's five minutes after one. Taking a lunch break. I've done three miles and uh, two and a half hours. Saw the guys on the way back out. Man, I've been uh, Justin's peanut butter, which I have never had. Lewis gave it to me. Justin's peanut butter. Man, that is on that fresh apple bread. Oh, amazing. Best lunch ever on the trail. Anyway, I'm gonna to try to get the whole thing in. We'll see how I do. Beautiful up here. All right, guys, I made it to the so-called shelter. It's further down the hill, another tent. That'll put it at an even seven. Man, that was a brutal six point nine. Took me four hours just a tad over. So that was a tough hike. Now I gotta turn around and go back. It's exactly 328 now, I'll hang out here for a little while. I hope to get back before dark. Hard for me to believe it took me four hours, just a few minutes over four hours, to knock out that 6.9. Of course, I did stop for a 20 minute lunch break. It's just a couple minutes before four. 
I'm heading back out. Hope to be home by 7.30. Eight at the latest, I'd be a full four. Wonder how many ticks and chiggers are waiting to jump on me through this stuff. Guess I'll find out tonight, huh? Hate walking through this kind of stuff. Quite a bit of this terrain on the south side. Walking a little canopy. All right. Just knocked out two hard downhill miles. Beautiful out there, isn't it? And I got four, five to go. And we'll see if the knees hold up. It's always interesting going down now. All right, it's 647. Rolling back into camp. An even 14 miles from the door of our room to the shelter. And that gives me, I think, right at 30, 31 for the day. It's a good day. Wanted to get back faster than I got out, so I cut off an hour almost. And beat the sunset. So, another one in the books. <laughs>